What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day as well as had a great weekend. All right, guys, we're going back to Sol 2693. Now, this photo, like many others, a lot of the details have been taken out, shadowing, giving it that 2D or just completely flat area. Now, in this photo in the lower right corner, you're also going to see part of the rover. You might say, why is that important? Well, it's going to give us perspective. Now, once we bring out these anomalies and you look at the perspective, you're going to say, okay, something doesn't make sense. Now, it may bring more possibility to the fact that maybe there was these tiny Martians, as many people have said. Okay, let's get into that photo. And you can see right here, Sol 2693, left navigation camera. Go ahead and enlarge it. And you can see it right here. Now, in the lower right corner, you can see part of the rover. That is the UHF antenna. Now, my guesstimation is if you're right around six feet tall, give or take, your eyes would be somewhere right about the middle of this canister. I'm going to call it a canister. It's basically like a fabric around the actual antenna itself. Okay. So, right there, your head would be right around here. Keep that in mind. Now, let me show you some photos of this antenna and some of the people standing next to it. Here's just a uh, drawing of said rover and its parts. You've got the UHF antenna, which is right there, as I showed in the picture. And, of course, you get the high-gain antenna, which looks like this octagon, uh, octagonal piece. And this will flip sideways, flat like it is, sideways, as well as the motor on there can actually bring it up and move it around, right? And this is the antenna that shoots straight to Earth. It's highly directional, and it's a high-gain as well. The omnidirectional is basically for... Um, uploading to the orbiters around Mars. Now, let me show you this here. This shows you perspective about where this thing is on the rover, the, the antenna. And you can see this guy standing right next to it. Now, if this guy was standing straight up, you, his eyes would be even with that canister, just like the guy here on the left of him. You can see he's pretty much, his eyes are pretty much right dead center in that, right? We also have this photo here. This gentleman here standing next to it. He's on flat ground, just like the rover is on the floor. And you can see pretty much his eyes are pretty darn close. So give or take, um, I'm guessing six footish, because the mass, top of the mass is seven foot. And as you can see, it is quite tall. See that? Okay. That's a good reference point, because remember that. Now, again, I want you to remember your head is right about here. Now, what would happen if you walked over to the bottom of this so-called hill? How big would you be? Well, obviously, the more you get away from a camera, any object moves away from a camera, it starts to get smaller or appear smaller. So you would probably be standing right here, your head and your feet right here. You wouldn't be that tall at all, at least not like you would be here at the rover, right? So how big is this area back here? That's what we need to ask ourselves because this area here, I'm going to show you, it's just, it's just wild. What I needed to do was bring back the shadows. Anything that had lines in this thing, we needed to bring out. Let's jump into Photoshop because I can show you this a lot better. Here's the photo right here. And again, we have the rover right here. Okay. Now, again, if you were standing over here, you would probably be, head would probably be about this tall, and your feet would be on the ground. Okay. So how far is this really off in this area back here? Because remember, you, as you move away from the camera, you get smaller. So we're going to have to try to figure out what these things are and just how big they are. Okay, let's jump into that. We're going to brighten this up. Okay, now I started to look at these things in the background. And we want to look at the lines and see what we got. Okay, I'm just going to mock up a couple of things that I've seen in here. And I don't know if you guys even see them yet. Let me go in just a little bit. You guys see this right here. And there's some kind of line or something like here, going like this here. You'll see this a little bit better in a minute. You've got what looks like, and it's not blurred out or anything. This is just a photo. I haven't done anything to this. But you're going to see something that's doing this. It appears to be doing this here. Okay. Almost like some kind of weird pipe. There's something right smack dab in the middle. It goes like this. It appears to round off, meaning go around this corner type thing. There's something right there. Okay, jump down over here. Look at the lines here, very faint. Going like this. But there is, in fact, something that is off the ground. It's not flat. There's something here, okay? Now, more of these things, you're going to see this a lot better because I'm just going to just give you guys a full enhancement in a moment. 
I'm just going to jump right to the full enhancement. Got lines right here. A lot of these things appear to be on some kind of platform. Now, is it possible these things were on top of water or in the water? Because this is in some kind of crater type thing, right? You can back up and you can see that it's kind of like in this lower area. Now, I'm not sure it is a crater, but it seems to be like it, where water might have settled, right? And like I said, the more you get into this photo, you're going to start to see a lot more of this. Now, just by burning some of the stuff, you can start to see these things come out without me doing anything to it other than simple burn. So in other words, I'm not using any, I'm not putting these lines here. These are actually here. Okay. Look at this. I'm not doing anything. This stuff is coming out by itself. You can see faintly there are what looks like lines, but we want to enhance those lines. We want to bring them out a little bit more, right? Okay. See that? Now I'm just doing a quick job of this, but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea that it can be brought out, bring back the shadowing, bring back the darker areas, bring back the stuff that's actually supposed to be in this photo. And like I said, guys, I'm not doing anything to this. I'm just bringing it out. There's something in here that's awesome. Now I'm just doing this real quick. So you're not going to really see of anything of any value right at the moment, but you will. And you can see already this thing has this kind of weird conical shape to it right here. Doing this, coming down, going like this. I'm not so sure about this end right here. But you can see how this thing goes like this. Goes like this here and goes over. There's all kinds of shapes in here, guys. It's the lines you need to bring out. And I've only brought out maybe some of it. Okay, let's get into this. I'm going to just show you this right here. Let's zoom into this a little bit. Now, have a look at the stuff I pulled out of this thing. The back here. Look at the shapes that came out of this. This is cool. You can see this piece right here. Probably won't trace this very well, but that's okay. And you can see what looks like different pieces in there. Now, we have to accept the idea that this may be part of the manipulation. In other words, there's something right here. Let's suppose we didn't have this shape that we see here, right? Let's say there was something there that was intelligently made. Now, they can actually circle the area that they want to take out and then just drop a texture. So we have to understand that that could be part of that, or maybe it's not. That's the whole key to this. Let's go a little further into this, okay? Now, let's go from left to right on this. And have a look at some of these objects because look at this right here. Suddenly, something appears to be on top of this platform. Whatever this thing is, it has height. See it? It has height right there, and it looks like something round right here. I'm not sure what to make of that, but this stuff is actually from here to here. There is something on top of this said platform. The stuff in the background. Look at this. I'm not even sure what to make of this stuff right here. I'm not sure because the way this thing is, look at the way these lines are, guys. Look at this. Came down, went down like this. We've got these other straight lines. I mean, what's the chances of this stuff being the way it is in this photo? All right, let's keep going here. Again, look it up here. These lines here. All right, so let's jump over to here. Check this out. Weird, guys, it almost looks like you're looking at a hologram. Like, when you look at the movie Prometheus, when they were looking at, I think the captain of the ship was looking at that so-called, what looked like a structure, but when they looked at it, it had that U-shaped craft, and all you see was the outline of all of this craft, but you couldn't see the actual solid piece, only the outline of it. That's what it reminds me of. Now, with that in mind, check out this area down here. Look at this. Again, some kind of weird platform doing this. Okay. Going like this here. Now, look at the little pieces on top doing this. 
It almost looked like they had little structures on top of this. And you can see these lines in here, like I said. Whoop, actually, it went like this. It has a black mark here, one here, one here. But whatever these things are, they appear to have borders, like, like almost like landscaping type thing. And again, this item right over here, same thing. It's on, it looks like a platform. And it may even look like it's raised off the ground where you can see like spaces underneath. Or it's just darker areas, one of the two, right? All right, now this is the photo fully enhanced. I'm seeing so much stuff in here, it's not even funny. Again, things that look like they're on platforms. Stuff in the background. Again, this thing, I don't even know what to make of this. And what are the chances of that having this round circle, black round circle, this right here? Something right here. Okay. Let me just back out just a little bit. There is so much in this photo. It looks like the structures all inside this, this valley. I'm going to call it a valley because it does appear to look lower in the middle. But is it really lower? Right? At first it did, like when we look at this photo here, it looked much lower. Like you can see in the valley here, it looked like there's something higher here, and then it drops off down to here, and then perhaps it comes up a little bit. But once you start to see these things on top of things, suddenly are they really, I'm just going to draw this as a general area, not individual parts. Suddenly, it's almost like they're all even in the middle and not like this huge valley. So th at least that's what I'm seeing. And I'm going to back up again to give you guys a better reference point. Right here. Again, here's that antenna. Why don't we just bring up the exposure a little bit and see what that looks like. And there you go, guys. Again, guys, I don't think you'd be very tall. You'd be somewhere around here, your head, and perhaps your feet. Pure guesstimation. But again, if your head was right here next to this antenna, and it was even, your eyes were pretty much even half of it, and you walked off... You'd be smaller as you walked away. Now, again, you'd still have to keep walking down to this area down in this where all of these, whatever these things are, whether they be structures, pieces of whatever, intelligently made objects, whatever they are, you would probably get smaller, obviously, walking off in the distance. But we have to understand how far is this distance. Now, sometimes you can get lucky and get scaling on these. I don't really trust the scaling all that much on these photos, but that doesn't mean some of it isn't accurate, right? Again, let's zoom into this and have a look at these parts. Also looks like there's stuff in the background where they've completely taken out. Look at the shapes up here. Looks like it's doing this and doing that. And then the rest of it is off. But look at the shadowing. And the background almost looks like this thing's standing up behind or underneath this manipulation. I mean, guys, I don't know about you, but it seems that these appear to be structures, but how big would these things have to be? Or is it just, you know, objects laying on the ground inside this area that may be exploded, but it really doesn't look like it's been exploded. Again, we have these two areas. Here's one of them. This stuff that looks like it's on a platform. That one we already looked at. And this one here we looked at on the right. But look at the other pieces underneath this. What are the chances of these shapes popping out and they all look like they're constructed somehow? It's right here. This right here. Objects faintly in the background. These lines just come out. And I can't even tell you what this stuff is. All we can do is speculate, right? But to me, they look like they have a purpose, right? They look like they're designed. They're set in a way where they've been constructed. They are, folks. Now, I don't care if this is all manipulation. And they took like this, uh, again, we'll just use this as, as an example. This part here, let's say there was something there that was uh, intelligently made in this area. And they just simply just circled it and then dropped their own texture in there to cover it up. And just by enhancing this, two things we can see. One, they definitely censored this photo and hid 
uh, whatever's in here. And two, whatever these things are, they look intelligently made. Give you guys another quick look. From left to right. What are you guys seeing in here? There's no doubt in my mind these guys are centering these photos and they're taking a lot of this stuff out of it. And it's, like I said, it's just, it's absurd the amount of uh, effort to go through to block this stuff out, right? Again, guys, what are we seeing here? Is it nothing more than structures? Machine parts? Um, if they are structures, how big are they? Again, pure speculation, but they look like they have a purpose. They look like they're kind of designed in a way that's on platforms. What look like they're like next to each other, built on top of or on the side of each other. Are they just mechanical parts, things that are just laying there? Now, whatever these things are, pure speculation. We have no idea. We can't vet it. However, it does look pretty interesting. It doesn't look natural. As always, drop your comments and thoughts below. Please like and share the video. As always, it is appreciated. And guys, again, thank you guys all and uh, much appreciated to anybody who's been supporting the channel with monetary, uh, buying the merch, or just simply say, hey, man, you're doing a great job. We love with the work that you do. You guys, What else can I say? You guys are awesome. But anyway, guys, again, just drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Got some more Moon as well as more Mars coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and we'll see you in the next one.